Alright, so today we have the HTC One M8, one of the smartphones with the best speakers out there, and we also have the worst portable speaker I've ever found in my life. I've done a huge cleanup around my house lately, down my end of the house. Everything's spotless, every cupboard, everything is perfectly neat, and it's absolutely amazing, and I found some really interesting things and filled seven garbage bags completely full. I'm talking the big ones, completely full of just shit I don't need. But uh, today we have the portable speaker with the expansion base. There's the serial number, made in China. This little thing sounds horrible. And we can make it sound even worse by squeezing it together and clicking it in like this. And it sounds absolutely terrible. And I, words can't explain how bad this little thing sounds. So in today's video, I'm just gonna blast my HTC One M8. I'm then gonna plug it into this and you're gonna be able to tell what a huge quality difference there is in the audio because it's so not noticeable it's so funny and then at the end of the video i'm gonna pull this thing apart we'll see what's inside see how beefy this <laughs> i can't even say that without laughing we'll see what the back of this driver looks like and uh we'll blow it up because why not i'm gonna get rid of it anyway i think this is like a five dollar speaker which in australia is very very cheap for something like this but um Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. You can see here the wires are already starting to break, so I've got to be very careful. This thing I probably used two or three times, but I've got to be really careful that those wires don't snap because I do want to get a sound test. Don't ask me why, but it's going to happen. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, so as a song for this video, we're going to be using To Myself by Uplink. And uh, this is just a really good copyright free song. And I'm going to play it once through the phone speakers here. Obviously, I'm going to move the microphone over to where the phone is so you can get a really up close and personal sound so you can really hear the difference. We're going to play it off the HTC One M8. And then we're going to plug this little thing into it. And we're going to see how much different the sound is. <laughs> and tell me in the comments which one you would rather listen to for daily use. Not only that, I'll get out a decibel meter so you can actually hear which walls. Yeah, let's, let's, let me rephrase that. You can actually see which one's louder, and uh, yeah. Nevertheless, well, let's get to it. I'm gonna move the mic over, and we're gonna set both the phone and the speaker to full volume. And I'm gonna set the microphone just here, sitting over here, and uh, I'll stick the phone there facing up, and same with the speaker facing up, and I'll do it with expansion bass off, and then we'll stick on some expansion bass to really bring out that low 20 hertz tones. Funnily enough with this speaker, if I have it any louder than what the HTC was able to get to, it distorts. So I'm just going to blast it. You're going to hear distortion. It's going to sound absolutely terrible. It's going to be louder, but just tell me which one you'd uh, prefer as far as sound quality. Alright, let's hit up some expansion base. Funnily enough, expansion base just made the thing sound even tinnier. It got rid of some of the distortion, but the thing sounded even worse. I actually can't get over how bad this little speaker is. So, let's see what is inside this thing. Let's get rid of this HTC One with the better sounding speakers. Definitely, maybe not as loud, but definitely sounded better. And uh, let's let's take a little look. I'm just gonna uh, rip it open. We have a tiny little speaker, huge magnet. Check that beast out. And uh, a spring. We have a spring, I'd say that would be for what? To make the speaker have its expandable bass to make it sound even tinnier and worse with less distortion. But uh, we have a, some sort of seal here, a spring, some glue just there. Let me just change the focal point so you actually can focus. A really, really big speaker here. Turn autofocus back on. 
really, really big speaker. Uh, some pretty heavy duty. Uh, we can see here, this is clearly a uh, four gauge wire that is heavy duty as. And then uh, we'll rip the bottom of this thing open. We've got a massive amp board in here. We can see the fans that need to cool the thing down. I'm really kidding, guys. This thing is absolutely horrible. Uh, and for, <laughs> we're gonna probably blow this little thing out. Even though it's gonna do absolutely nothing, I could probably blow it out with a nine volt battery, to be honest. But uh, four ohms, two watts. That's surprising that it's two watts when I've had speakers that are definitely, definitely more powerful than this that are rated at 0.3 of a watt. So anyway, let's pull this thing. No, we've already pulled the thing apart. Let's chuck all of the shit in the bin. I want to rip the end off this cable. But uh, besides that, let's blow this speaker. Well, uh, I'm really sorry to say, here's a very eventful blowout, and I'm sorry I don't have like the mic going or anything. But uh, yeah, just came in, I've just eaten, uh, had my dinner, I've come back and I've gone, sweet, let's test this little speaker out, and uh, we'll hook it all up. Little did I remember, I was trying to run full range by bypassing this, but I forgot that I have a crossover in my rack over there, which um, cuts 80 hertz below, so I'm going, oh yeah, let's play bass, I love you, sweet. Popped it up, popped the volume up a bit, oh, I can't hear anything, what's happening, bang. Literally a split second and this speaker just went up in smoke. Not much smoke at all. I'm gonna turn that all the way down. I'll turn that amp off in a second. But um, I am sorry to say, but I have accidentally blown this speaker without even getting it on video. To make up for it though, I do have another little speaker I can blow out. So hopefully I can find it and we'll blow that out in this video. All right, so I really don't wanna blow this speaker out, but I guess I've got to do it because I accidentally blew this out and you guys didn't even get to see me do it. So I'm re reluctantly going to blow this speaker out for you guys. Uh, it's a spare speaker I had sitting around for one of my uh, Moshi speakers. Uh, I custom built one. I had, I've had like three and I built one up with like double batteries and everything. And I was just keeping this driver in case someone decided to poke a hole through the cone. But uh, as a way to give back for blowing this thing out. Hopefully you guys can appreciate, I'm going to chuck this speaker in, which I really do like. And uh, hopefully we get a little show out of this one. Now from memory, the last time I blew one of these out, you can see it's moving. Last time I blew one of these out, I got a really big smoke show. So I'm just going to take it slow. You can see these are very high excursion speakers. This thing is going at it. Let me turn autofocus off. Let's bring this close to the camera. Look at that. This thing is smooth. This is why I really don't want to blow these speakers out because this thing is extremely powerful for what it is. But uh, nevertheless, let's give it some power, unfortunately for me. You can hear it starting to bottom out now. Come on. This thing, I shit you not, is taking like the best part of 20 something watt right now. Let me push it up to about 30 ish. This thing is that powerful, I can't actually explain it. Oh, yes, I can feel it starting to heat up now. This thing is insane. Look at that excursion. I don't have any more volume controls to turn up near me. Oh, that is so loud. Let me just reach over to my EQ. Oh God, that is burning. I'm gonna pop that on the other speaker. I can't hold that. God, I had to reach over to my crossover then to turn the signal up for the gains because that thing is actually taking so much power right now. Let's, uh, let's go again and hopefully kill this thing because it is bottoming out and that is stupidly loud. There we go. That is a lot of smoke for such a little speaker. It's ridiculous. Let's have a quick look at this. That is a lot of smoke. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed me 
blowing out a really, really good speaker that I really didn't want to blow out. Oh my god, that is so hot. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like down below while I try and get this little wire off. But um, I didn't want to do it. Now you see why. These things are insanely powerful, vented everywhere. Absolutely amazing little speaker. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, I already outroed. See you guys in the next one.